Prince William is now the new family enforcer. He now has the reputation of being uh, stubborn. They are at the moment replacing uh, being violent uh, with the word stubborn. And I'm speaking about uh, reputation. I bet this is something that he's so much used to. Because growing up, uh, he grew up knowing very well that he's the heir and that the spare can do nothing to kind of just take his class. So literally, one thing that's very much evident, William has been on his comfort zone for way such a long time. And now it's hitting Charles that, you know what, you have an heir, but trust me, you, he won't do any good in your absence. That's one thing that I bet we have already foreseen. First and foremost, why are we expecting any better from William? Yet Charles himself is doing nothing at the moment. Like father, like son. And we all know very well that Charles, William is a whole version of what Charles is. Speaking of Harry, Harry is a whole version of what the lat Princess Diana was. They both have a lot in common and that's why we can't love the duke of sussex and yes compared to what william is he's nowhere closer to what harry is one of the funniest and most bizarre parts of the british media's royalist coverage this day is a is the near constant refrain that prince william and Kat don't want to have anything to do with the sussexes Every month, like clockwork, Kazanstone Paulus does a briefing about how William hates his brother and will never allow Harry and Meghan to come back. The entire time the Sussexes aren't saying anything, they are not asking to come back. They are living peacefully in California and ignoring William's tantrums. At no point has the British media wondered why Cousin Stone Powlers can't take Harry's name out of their mouths and why William is constantly throwing tantrums about the Sussexers four and a half years after they left. One thing that I've proven is that through Harry and Meghan, that's how they are able to make their pay. Because even the left behinds don't generate what Harry and Meghan generate. Like, Harry and Meghan assist them in getting treatments. And that's why every other time they don't put into consideration what they say, what they discourse to the public, but rather them having the selfishness and uh, being self-centered, of course, and don't care what the other person will feel. Uh, they just look after themselves. That's one thing that has existed for quite some time. And I thought after Harry and Meghan leaving, that probably things are going to be different because they used to say it's Harry and Meghan getting attention. It's Harry and Meghan every now and then covering or topping on the front pages of the magazines in the UK. But even four years later, it's still Harry and Meghan. This tells you that some people who tend to say of how irrelevant Harry and Meghan are find so much relevancy using their name. They just can't accept. William is stubborn. William has been stubborn. William always wants things that he hasn't worked for. Things that he hasn't worked for. The other day we were speaking about Invictus, whereby it's been claimed that it isn't Harry's and that Harry's not the founder. Yet we all know very well who's the founder of Invictus Camp. William wants love and attention from the public, yet does nothing to earn all that. In court, his relationship with his brother Harry upsets him more than he would care to admit. But he found it easier to cut ties. Yes, we can see that William is still full of rage about all things Sussex. And Harry was the one who cut ties after the way William treated Meghan. Speaking of the eggs, rage, Janine Bond is learning into the brand of William as the family enforcer now. Like the one thing also they miss out, they always think by bringing about such pieces, such headlines, probably it's going to hit 
Harry from the distance, from wherever he is. Or the, muscle, the person who is busy, booked, and bothered, and literally doesn't care what's happening back in the UK. He has no time to wanting to think of what the left behinds back in that particular institution, which is at the moment sinking, are going through. What they met Harry and Meghan go through is way much worse and bad than what they are facing at the moment. Remember how King Charles ordered William to drive a Prince Andrew around in Balmoral last year? Remember how Charles had to stay in the cleaner? Step in and clean up William's catastrophic mess about a cat's disappearance last this year. William is puffing out his chest and telling everyone that he's at the family enforcer. Meanwhile, he can't even do an investor sober. He's also going out and about preaching or just, you know, telling the public that, you know what? I'm a global statesman, yet a body even knows that the role of a global statesman. He ain't anywhere close, ain't anywhere close to that or having that particular title. We're speaking about William, now going out and about telling people about, well, you know what he is, uh, the family enforcer, I'm not surprised. He always wants to be clapped for even when he's not the one deserving of the claps. That's William always wanting to walk under people's shadow. But still, because if I'm just to bring you back, uh, listening to Harry and Meghan's docuseries or reading Harry's memoir Spare, you all could see, you all could tell. And it was very, very much stated. And Harry, the main reason among us all is that he's not ready to go back to the UK to act or be anyone's scapegoat. He's been a scapegoat in that particular institution for years. They walked under his shadow for years and still took praises for themselves, not even given flowers or credit where it's due. And that is to the Duke of Sussex. You surprised? Of course not, Kwaza. That's William, that's Charles. The same way Charles had so much longed to be enthroned, you know, before the mother passed away, it's the same, same thing at the moment happening. William is so much yearning to the day, the debt, that he'll be sworn in as the king. IPT, the Brits. But you know what? That's up to them to decide. It's a high time they start speaking out and addressing the laziness portrayed by that particular institution or be ready to just face what they have. That's from my own perspective. I don't know what's your attack in all of this. Kindly just let me know your thoughts on the comment section. Hoping to see you guys in our next more videos to come.